Everybody, welcome back to Stellaris. I think I may have a solution for our current predicament. I had a, um, had a good long hard sit in the toilet to think about it. And I realized, first of all, um, the destroyers that we have, they actually, we've only got nine, but it is using up 18 of our naval capacity. So, I mean, obviously that makes sense. The bigger the ships, they use up more naval capacity makes sense. Um, so I think the potential option that we have here is just sort of build a lot more corvettes. I think they will end up being a lot cheaper to build in total, like as a, like having two of them as opposed to one destroyer. Um, and I think the potential damage output actually could be more. Um, if we look at the current ship design, the corvette at the moment, David damage is 5.47 when the destroyers is 9.12. Two of those Corvettes is obviously going to do a lot more damage, and I mean the hull points are going to be roughly the same. But I was thinking that because the the missiles are going through shields, not directly, but um, it does seem like the missiles actually are doing a bit through shields. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that maybe. Maybe we actually um, build a new ship design for these for these corvettes, and don't have any shields on there. Just have armor instead. Um, we definitely want lots of weapon slots, so we'll do that one. Um, these don't matter to me. We definitely need power. Um, it would have been really good to get um, this point defense here because that would have been really useful against the, the missiles and also would have provided us provided us with a bit of damage but unfortunately we can't have that um not just yet so we can build these are really close range which i don't want i do want a lot of range i'm um, just looking at the damage of these these do the most and these use like only not too much power so we're gonna put uh fusion missiles on there um, hopefully they're good. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I haven't used anything other than the, the close range things that we've got at the moment and the lasers. So composite armor gives us one armor. Is that how much damage it reduces it by? Okay, so having a lot of armor could actually be good here. Right, uh, we will need one more fusion reactor. Composite armor. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually reducing the damage taken by 7%. That's really strong. Um, I actually didn't realize how effective the armor was. I mean, the shields are nice. Um, I guess they give the benefit of being able to regenerate on the fly and um, just having that extra little bit. That generally, I think they would produce a bit more than actual hull points. So, but having that armor, like the armor actually reduce the damage taken is really quite strong. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that we're so low on minerals, I might have actually updated the destroyers to have armor, but we don't have um, the minerals to really worry about at the moment. I think the best thing we do is just stick with the ones that we've got um, and then build a lot of these corvettes. So we'll name this uh, Corvette Armor. Okay, I did bump my mic there. Hopefully, no one heard it. Yeah, um... It's there, okay. Um, we still are building up a lot of these destroyers. Which I think is okay. Um, not here though. I mean, granted, we do have the Corvette shipyards here. So, we'll build that last destroyer. But other than that, um, let's build a lot of these Corvettes. Hopefully they're effective. Um, I can't honestly say for sure if they will be. Um, but, I mean, that's what we're going to hope for at this point. And we'll build a lot of Corvettes. Also, they're a lot quicker, so we can get out of there, like, out of the gates a bit quicker. Um, okay, so that's that. The this fleet here. I'm going to land the armies on there because, yeah, it's, um, scary. Now, our army is technically in enemy territory here. I'm hoping that they sort of get stuck up here for a little bit. Maybe even take a bit more damage in this fight. But, um, actually, with California here, uh, I mean, yeah, let's cancel that. I, I don't want to waste the resources. Looks like we do get it all back, so that's pretty good. 
Um, we'll continue to build up more Corvettes here. It's going to take a while, but 48 days here and on any other world, it is 60. So it is reduced a little bit. We can actually see how much because of these uh, the assembly yards. Uh, build speed, 25%. So that's that's good. I think that's useful enough to, to make a difference. Um, and from here on out, I mean, just sort of build up the army and hope they just sort of... I mean, I'd much rather them just continuously bombard California here, um, as opposed to hunting down our army. Because again, at the moment, we, we actually can't compete with that. I'm curious about um, these type of raider ships here. Is that... Like, if, I'm not sure, I've never actually seen them. Uh, Spectre. Oh, they've got wormholes. Oh, okay. So we're fighting wormhole people. Um, it actually would have been really good to maybe destroy their wormhole stations. I didn't actually see where any of them were, but that could be useful to take out their wormholes. Um, that is these guys. Okay, but I don't think we'll worry about that for now. He is heading back to our home system. Uh, these guys are going to destroy a lot of our stuff. Um, their shields are going to regenerate as well. Um... They're going to be a nuisance. Uh, that is those guys. Looks like they, um, they're um actually heading into an orbit of Exilia. Oh, lovely. So they will have to go back and then um, back to their wormhole station, which hopefully maybe we can actually see. Probably not. Um, you can see this thing there, 1239. I mean, we, we, can, we can take that out, right? I mean, hopefully. You... Oh, can we not land them? Because um, there's too many of them. That is potentially that. Land armies, yep. No, armies. It says there's no room to land. There are no armies in orbit that can land. Okay. Um, I don't know how that working. That is working specifically, but it's fine. Uh, idle, come down Research to here. Complete. Research complete. Water cannons. Uh, I don't think these are really any useful. Kinetic. I read if I. Uh, I shouldn't. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Um, we'll keep doing this defense platform here because we're almost done it. I cannot. Select it? Oh, he's selected. But it's just because the debris stuff is happening. Which is going to take a while. It's going to slow down our research a lot, but. Uh, the second transport fleet, I'll move down to uh, this planet here, just because I am scared of them maybe attacking our home planet, which I think it, it did say they were going to do. Um, is that them? Uh, no, it's just the construction ship. I haven't seen their ships coming in yet. Uh, it could be really screwed here. But hopefully this sort of, um, not even play, but move works out, um, Space Amoebas, they're fine. I mean, because if they attack us right now, they had 12,000 strength. We, we do not have that at the moment, that is. Hostile fleet detected. Where are you? Okay, Glass Grazers, that's fine. Um, yeah, okay, okay. I realize this guy's name, Trevor Savage. <laughs> what a name. Okay, let's join these two fleets up. Bring them up, and they join, have them orbit over the planet so they can repair up. They were really quite weakened from that. We definitely stuck around too long for that battle. Um, it would have been better to keep the ships that we had as opposed to trying to take out, take down a lot of their stuff. Um, we are still significantly weaker than them. That is expected. Um, it is a shame about the technology. We are storing this energy. Okay, good. Um, okay, Gus Graves is heading to our home system. As long as it's not the enemy fleet, that's that's what I'm worried about. These guys, are they going to attack us? Probably. Uh, they've got warp. Engineering research plus 15 points. Physics. So we are getting a lot of engineering research stored. And it looks like they are going to attack us. It's actually really annoying, but... We'll go... 
attack them, wipe them out quickly so they just leave us alone. Um, my Chan ship is still going in Kazu. I mean, there's still quite a few um, things to pick up there. Some of them I can't even click on. Search, oh no. What have I done? Research, research, search, and research. It's going to take a while, it's going to slow down engineering, but we thought that um, engineering stored up. Um, we'll, we'll be fine. These guys should be a piece of cake to take out. Okay, um, that space crew is finished. Um, Wuding has finished as well. Get yeah, these four corvettes to our home planet. Uh, zip here, we weren't building anything because it was all destroyed. Log updated. They've built a wormhole here. Let's um, let's go take that out. You're in Neckar here. Let's take that out because that gives them a lot of maneuverability into our analyzed. home systems. And I think without that, they may not be able to actually reach our home planets. So this would be actually be a good place for a frontier outpost as well, which I I would build, but um. We, we need influence for a start. Um, okay, so that, that is wiped out. Go back and keep repairing. Um, yeah, so taking out that wormhole is, I think, crucial. These guys aren't going to be able to do it too well, but give them that, move them a bit faster. Because they could have easily just poured in while I'm trying to destroy this. Um, it could be considered a trap, but. I don't think the AI is that strong, as in like that smart, um, but I don't know for sure. I haven't actually faced another wormhole civilization as of yet, um, but I've no doubt that they're as strong as I see them to be. You can keep building corvettes. Um, these are a bit strong for some of them. I still do want some destroyers because I think they're still good. I mean, they're destroyers. Check this out. Um, I don't think these are too tanky. It should be nice and easy. Missions with high support. Wait, okay, it's just that. It's interesting that it still calls this a fleet. Okay, we do have a lot of missiles. Um, I mean, this is just four corvettes, and that's doing a lot of damage. Fusion power, energy storage capacity. Um, this is good for yeah, actually good for our ships. And we do want that point defense. Um, yeah, let's get the point defense. Gravitific sensors. Um, not too worried about that. Point defense is probably the most important thing. It looks like it's researching it anyway, which is really weird. That's going to take some time to destroy. The fleet has been fully repaired. Uh, what did we just research? Oh, right, the the. Fusion, fusion power. Um, Corvette armor. You guys see here, we get these, they're a lot better. They're gonna cost a lot more, but we do have the resources available. Gives us 15 power generation. So if we put two there, we can probably fit another armor. Yeah, there you go. So that's pretty good. Save that, override us, and we'll go to our destroyers as well. Um, with these fusion like that. Um, we have a lot more power. In fact, we could probably even... Oh, not quite. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, okay, um, how do we want to do this? And maybe we just want armor on this as well. Because if we put armor on this, not only does it use very little power, but it also gives us a very large amount of damage reduction. If we build it like that, then... 21% damage reduction. That seems really strong. Is that just me? I mean, that seems really strong. I'm actually going to do that and um, upgrade these fleets. Upgrade that fleet. And upgrade that fleet. And this fleet is going to be upgraded as well. Okay, and this fleet is destroying that. Shouldn't take too long. Powerful factions. I don't think it's act an actual problem. Um, if they do rise up, then we're going to have some problems. 
Okay, I, I think we're in a better position to win this. Uh, I don't think we will win it as of yet. I mean, there still is a lot to overcome, but I think we'll be okay. Getting rid of that wormhole station is, I think, actually crucial. Playing with wormholes, I mean, having them like on a fence is pretty important. Normally, you can just sort of build them on the border, and that will sort of like um, get you enough reach to go into other people's territories. But if they built one, even like right here on the border, I mean, that would probably give them. Yeah, it could give them enough reach, but if they've built that there, either it doesn't give them enough reach, or they just want to do that um, just for the sake of having better reach regardless. Yeah, we're still building ships. Good. We're still building a lot of them. Yeah, it's going to take some time, but it is definitely worth it. Uh, we'll build some more here. They're more expensive. I understand that, but we do want to build... That's four, they'll put us with 39. And 39 when you only need five. Debris analyzed. But just like that. They'll put us up to our limit. We could go over, but I don't particularly want to. Um, we, we could go negative on our credits. That is like entirely possible. Um, and I probably will. Uh, we'll just get Corvettes. I'm okay going a bit negative on energy. We have a lot stockpiled. Um, yeah, we should be fine. Uh, I'll put the speed up just because it is a bit slower at the moment, just building up. Um, he's still going through Kazu. Um, we've got a lot of influence, but maybe I want to save that for a frontier post, like in this system. Because. As far as I know, they can only reach into this system as of right now. It's the only one they've attacked. They definitely could have kept pressing on. And they did build that wormhole station there. So this could be the only system they reach. In which case, I do really want a frontier station. Analyzed. Um, it might not matter at the moment. It could be that now we've actually built up a strong enough fleet to challenge them. And we won't have to play so defensive. Um, and I don't really have too much energy left over. That is their space now, so I don't think I can actually build in there. They built it there anyway. Okay. Um, it would be nice to explore that station. Other than that, yeah, it's just energy that we're still really low on. Um, I don't think there's any extra surface stuff we can do. We can clear that tile. Cost us a bit, but that's fine. Um, keep getting uh, research. Research is really important. And as for this planet, I mean, this planet's pretty... Debris analyzed. It's in the shits pretty badly, but um, that's fine. Um, how long are you gonna take to build one? Uh, let's put you there. Construction build you complete. power plants. Reanalyzed. New contact. Uh, recruiters one. Where did they? They were the Rixie something. Um, there you go. These guys. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Um. We are in a pickle because these guys are stronger than us as is and then we've got this really large empire to the south of us so um the naval capacity is superior so that's what i was thinking because they've got so many planets they are technically superior um having vassals in this doesn't seem too useful because because of the largeness of the space um it's a lot harder to sort of coordinate people Hostile fleet detected. Construction uh, plus complete. the leviathans you guys and you um they want i want you to go to this planet here you're still upgrading ready for more spaceport to upgrade ships how long is that taking Hostile unemployment uh plus the leviathans are useless fleet detected no fleets leviathans Hostile still fleet detected man they're getting really annoying um Fleet Jesus Christ. Because now I'm getting in all their allies as well. Um We've gotta find a way to get rid of those. Um all of them. No. Um Yeah, so I think after this war we've gotta go take out this system. 
because I think I might co uh, cover up a few of our quests. Evading hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleets. God damn it! Look at all this, and it's all just from the freaking neutral mob monsters. One federation. We can do that. Um. Okay. What do we want next? Planetary capital. That's pretty darn good. Production targets. That's an edict. Monthly influence would be good. Water range is not necessary. Farming subsidies. Hydroponic farm. Let's get this. We almost got the point defense as well. That would actually be pretty good. I could actually put that in some of my ships. And that would make them really useful. Are you upgrading? Yes. Research complete. So that's from that 244. Let's get them all. And join them up. Okay, so that's 1.3. That's not too Hostile bad. Fleet detected. Uh, Leviathans, okay. No, no point defense. Synchronized defenses. Wow, that's pretty good. 25% weapons damage. That's a module. Um, yeah, fuck it. Although the power hub is really good. Um, crap. Both of these are really good. Um, we are positive on power, and we are getting more. I think we want this. But that's a really strong military upgrade. Uh, you're still upgrading. Construction complete. Ships Fine. upgraded. We will join them up. All right. Construction complete. There we go. Construction is complete. Uh, upgrade fleet. Okay, so that's our army. It's not. It doesn't seem that strong, to be completely honest. Um, can we take down them? Apparently not. No, they are. They seem superior in us than us in every single way. So I'm not excited to fight them whatsoever. Construction complete. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I may just be screwed. Yeah, I. I mean, that was sort of my ploy that hopefully we could feel our naval capacity a bit better by just building corvettes. But I mean, the the actual strength of the army isn't necessarily an indication, but it's definitely showing that it's weaker than when we had all destroyers. I mean, these guys are they don't have shields, but hmm. And we can go try and fight them. Um, I don't know if it will work. You have no lead. Um, you can research that Evading project. Hostile fleet. Yeah, hostile fleet. I mean, we could get the point defense. How how good's the point defense? Let me let me have a look. We'll do Corvette. Uh, we'll just do that. Uh, Sentinel point defense. Forty percent average damage. I don't. Need missiles and try offer essential for larger and slow military vessels. Um. So like, can I put this in? Okay, I'm putting in like the weapons. But it says it does a bit of damage. But it doesn't really show how effective it is against defending missiles, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, there might be something I have to look up in between breaks, perhaps. Um, because I mean that's not clear at all. See the range, which is really short, which Hostile obviously I expected. Um. Hostile fleet detected. Oh, gas crisis. Okay, um, because I mean that's a really not clear. I mean I don't know Hostile if it's fleet detected. it's actually any good. Hostile fleet detected. It's getting really annoying. Um, governor's leveled up. Good for you. For this planet, get more energy there. Uh, what tech were we getting? Synchronized defenses. I don't know what to do about this war. We are losing. Technically, so I think getting a white piece is still quite a way away. Um, I don't want to give them any of my planets because from that point on, I don't think there'll be any good recovery. Um, it's just more of a like, how do we? Because we do need to turn that war score around if we want to get a white piece. But at this point, I don't really know how. I don't think we can take out any sort of um system quick enough for them to not respond to because they do have wormholes so they will be very strong on the offense or even on the defense 
Um, we are losing credits now, which is fine. I don't know. I I'm genuinely don't know what to do here. Um, I mean, maybe our tech's good enough now. It says it's st theirs is still superior, but again, that's only a rough rating, and it might value different techs as like higher or lower. I'm not really sure. It's a lot harder than E4. You can just look at the ledger and say, okay, I got more troops and I got one better technology, so I know exactly if I'm going to win, unless I get screwed by dice rolls. But um, this is just sort of you kind of got to hope. I mean. Uh, I want to attack because I want to turn the war around, but if we do attack now and we lose, then like we're really not coming back. At this point, the length of the war is ticking up to a point where, I mean, it only goes down by one per per month. So that's still, I mean, it's only a year, like a year and a half roughly until they would accept a white piece. But even then, so did that actually tick up? I don't think it even ticked up. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't seem like there's any real war exhaustion. I mean, people do get upset by war, as you can probably see on the planets. Um, slaved. Slavery. Um, okay, apparently we don't mind war. Is that maybe something to do with our government or something? Ships uh. upgraded. Construction complete. Yeah, the ship's upgraded. Um. <laughs> I want to attack because I'm a very aggressive player, but I am also scared because I would suck to sort of just like lose the run on this. Um. I mean, if I am going to attack, I'm going to save till the next episode because I don't want to attack and then be halfway through. I could just do it. Let's just attack. I am feeling brave. What is that path that you were taking? That takes you there. What the hell? Oh, because we've got a trade ship in there. There you go. Okay, that was. Hostile fleet detected. Was it Leviathans? I mean, we can do it, right? <sighs> Hostile fleet detected. More space, maybe things. Because I mean, the the war score for this, I mean, it's gone. It's the length of war modifier is ticking up, but it's going so slowly, and I don't really want to sit around in a war where we could just be crushed at any second. I'd rather not wait around. I'd much rather either lose or like lose harder, I guess. <laughs> um. Are they in this system? No. Let's go take out the wormhole. Um, that's something good to do quickly. Um, there's their army. Okay. We do have reinforcements here. Let's put it down to normal speed. Holy! Oh, what the hell are those things? Destroy! Oh, they got cruisers. We're definitely screwed now. A hundred percent. We we cannot win that at all. Um. Yeah, the no no hope at all. Let's let's definitely run. We cannot be cruisers. Um, especially if we got more people boarding in. Yeah, I mean we're not gonna win this war. I was happy to maybe just like commit suicide against them, but that is like guaranteed death. They got way more strength than us. Um, yeah. Wow, you guys are really slow. Oh, because they're hyperspacing. Hyperspace hyperlink, I think it's called. Hostile fleet detected. Um. Okay. From this, I guess Hostile we fleet detected. we can wait it out. It's gonna take a really long time, but yeah, I guess we wait it out. Are they like? What are you planning to do with this, huh? Like, look at this, this is a really bold defending system as well. Yeah, they, they'll definitely be able to reach us. They've got a wormhole here, here. Um, they probably can't quite reach our home base, but... I mean, it's definitely close enough to... Right. to research those. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to beat them if they've got cruisers. 
thing is though, the thing that concerns me is, who do I attack at this point? Attacking the guys to the south? I mean, their naval capacity is better. We could maybe fleet beat them, but like, probably not. I mean, and I don't think there's any real way for us to annex these guys. I mean, we're improving relations with them. And then we're not really strong enough for them. I don't know, we might just be screwed this, this run. Because the amount of technology we're producing, because we're a pretty small area, is not enough to really outcompete these guys. Even if these guys are swallowed here by perhaps these guys, then we've still got to face them. And because we're in a ring situation, it's either up or down. There's no left or right that we can go to. So, I mean, I'm going to end the episode here because um, this is my, like my quote of five videos for today. I'm going to leave it to you guys to decide if I actually continue with this. I'm not, I don't really want to at the moment because I know at the start I didn't play optimally and it sort of screwed us from the beginning, not to like a great extent, but to the point where now we it's ended so slowly that we've kind of been outpaced by all our enemies. So I'll leave it to you guys to decide if I keep going or start again. I'm more than happy to start again. Um, it will mean like a slower start of videos again because new universe. If I do, I definitely won't play on Ring. I, I don't like this at all. Um, I much prefer Elliptical or at least Spiral. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll leave it at that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Definitely leave a comment because I, I want to know what other people think about starting again. Um, subscribe if you must, but for now, that's all.